My moon sense has found no enemies to the west! Maybe not, but there's trouble back at our camp! You have to freak us out every time you cook something. Sand-spotted goulash requires heat. Mm. Need more web. I told you before, I don't need bodyguards. I can cross the sands of Duresh by myself. Sorry, but it's too risky. Especially after that vision I had. Where you were, I couldn't tell. What happened was crystal clear. Three Shadow Magi captured you. The worst part is, I'm not sure if it was a real vision or if it's just Agra messing with my head. That answers your question. Give us the ancient spellcaster. No way. Find your own ancient spellcaster. Uh, uh, no offense. Agram took Orwin away from us. We're not going to lose you too. Necessary. With this animal, I imagine Brock! free under. Who's nugging needs knocking? Let the fur fly. Timber. What Edrum wants, Edrum gets, and he wants Grandma's spell powers. Forget it! Brock, color blast! <laughs> nice try! Stingless need more than that to be sent to the dream plane! Freak Shell Guard! Now that's some good Shell Guard! Stingless! Wing Thrash! Will this take long? I'm supposed to be meeting my friend shortly. Ugger! Root Reach! Ride of Ugger! Circle back! Rear flank attack! It's just you and me, pal! Paw slam! I have something to say, dearies. With this Animite, I imagine Corillian Titan! <sighs> Sky Split! Uh-oh. 
means I didn't need any bodyguarding. Don't get excited now. That's the friend I've been waiting for. I am Drajan, leader of the Sands of Duresh. I look forward to making your acquaintance on our flight to Arderial. Our flight? Bodyguarding I didn't need. Carillion Titan to the dream play. But I do need you with me at a very important meeting. Chop chop! Sorry about the secrecy, but as we've just seen, Agram has spies everywhere. He must have known about the meeting. Yes, but he does not know its location. The Storm Citadel, ancient fortress and safe meeting hall. It's never in the same place twice and only those who are invited ever learn its current location. Hello! <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. <laughs> Welcome to this meeting of the Council of Leaders. It is good to see you again, Shimmer. Since you last saw her, she has become the leader of Arderial. As leaders of the various realms, we form the Moonlands government. Together, we vote on matters concerning the entire Moonlands. Your government's a democracy, like mine back home. Your leaders are representatives elected by ordinary Moonland citizens, right? So, who's the main leader? Like a president or a prime minister? There is none. This council governs as an oligarchy, a group that acts as a combined leader. Narum's chair remains empty, as Orwin is still under Agram's sway. A replacement must sit in his place. Evu, will you do the honor? On behalf of Bograth, I object to this meeting. The thought that these children could be the final dreamer, it's preposterous. That's why you brought us here? To prove we're the final dreamer? Yes. Some of us do believe in the legend, Suumgir. And some of us do not. And that is why we must test them. Ah, Agram's power increases by the day. We cannot risk everything on some ancient fairy tale. The only thing that can save us now is the gear. <gasps> What's the gear? Long ago, the elders created the gear. If Agram was ever to escape the core, we could activate it. Its power would rip apart the Moonlands and blast the core into space, ending Agram's threat forever. But in the process, half the Moonlands would be destroyed. Oh, saving half is better than none. It's time to vote. I move that we use the gear. Now! They're gonna vote for something that'll blow up half the Moonlands? This Animite, I imagine, Stinglas. Please, you can't sacrifice half the Moonlands. Stop the vote. They're right. What other option is we there? shouldn't be right. It's the only way to save our world. <laughs> hey, listen up. We've got something to say too, you know. How dare you interrupt our debate? You have to vote no for the gear. Or, or at least wait until Evu gives us that test she was talking about. If we prove we're the final dreamer, then prophecy says we'll save all the Moonlands. If the council votes no, the kids will be tested. However, if the council votes yes, there will be no test. The gear will be activated immediately. You can come down from the table now, Tony. Enter your voting key in the green slot for yes, red slot for no. More green than red? That means they voted yes to using the gear! 
The vote isn't finished. The map only shows who voted yes or no. Now we calculate the number of votes each leader is allowed. You mean some of you get more votes than others? How is that fair? This council uses a form of voting called proportional representation, meaning each leader's vote fairly represents the number of citizens in each realm. Realms with many citizens receive more votes than realms with fewer citizens. Our formula is one vote for every 1,000 citizens. Final tally, 21 votes for yes, 46 votes for no. The motion fails. Council votes not to use the gear. Yeah! Right. Woohoo! I wouldn't be celebrating yet. Now you're going to be tested to see if you're the true final dreamer. You should know that no previous candidate has ever passed our test. She's right, I'm afraid. Even your grandfather failed it. Is that why he went back to Earth? Mm-hmm. But I'm sure that won't happen to you. <laughs> You are now on the Tower of Testing, the magical staging area for your various trials. Good luck. <sighs> this is not a Moonland realm that I know. <gasps> Defensive maneuvers! With this enemy, I match it! dream creature stay imagined it must be part of the test whatever we are supposed to do we have to do it by ourselves take cover an opening now's our chance <laughs> When they get hit, we should deflect the lightning back at them. You guys ever heard of baseball? <laughs> the ones that don't vanish sure know how to complain. <laughs> Here, only one creature in each row vanishes when it gets hit. Until we know which one, we shouldn't fire back unless we want his buddy screeching again. The first time, four creatures emerged, then six, and now eight. The first one to vanish was the second creature from the right, then the third from the right. The vanishing creature is one spot further from the right than it was in the previous row. <laughs> the lightning is growing stronger. Let us hope the pattern is correct. Oh, yeah! Oh, run! We called it all right! What was that fireball? Um, stage two of our test? Probably, since we totally aced part one. Flee the tower! This is not part of the test! Whoa! Shadow Magi! They found us! Oh, and Orwin is with them! With this Anamite, I imagine... Ocean Strider! As a former council member, I still have my voting key, you fools! It always glows before a vote is to be held, and it glows stronger the closer it gets to the Citadel! Orwin! You are not welcome here! Too late! Now that you windbags are all together, I can destroy the entire council! <laughs> With this anime, I imagine... Frog! Hugger! Free! Shadow 
Magi. Attack! Wing Thrash! Free! Shell Guard! Extra Force! Shadow Shardor! Flying Vortex! Brock! Energy Blasts! Hunter! Will Reach! Free! Shell Scatter! multiple dream creatures, three of them. But Tony, we've hardly ever imagined two creatures at the same time. And even if we do have enough energy to imagine three, how long will we last before we collapse? I don't know, but we have to try. With this anima, I imagine baby Orthan, Charmander, Leaf Chogo, Busy Rod, Cesar, Magoon. <sighs> Agrum's victory is at hand! We must activate the gear! Now! No! We must give them a chance! They have failed! Our only hope is the gear! Now vote! Not so fast! I cast Slow Creep! If they cannot win by the time your keys hit the slots, then the vote will carry, but not a second sooner. With the Citadel, it's those kids I want destroyed. Here they come! Brock, Baby Orphan Charmander! Attack those Stinglas! So tired. Me too. But we must fight on. Cesar! Magal! Join the battle! Chogo! Busy Wog, you too! to be defeated by your puny creatures! Flying Vortex! Silverwing Relic, do your stuff! How long can you stay aloft when you're so tired, Final Dreamers? <laughs> Guys, one more attack! Wait! I think I have the strength for one last spell! Drag your magnification relic! I cast Light Flash! Uh, 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 now, Brock, one last blast! Brock uh, uh, to the dream plane! You dare defy Agram's will? This spell will seal your doom! I cast shackles of power! <sighs> yes! I knew you would do it! Release Slow Creep! <sighs> Orwin has finally been captured. What do we do with him now? My allegiance relic can change him back. It is what made him a Shadow Magi in the first place. And because of that, its power may be depleted. There is another way. Something that will prove once and for all that you three are the final dreamer. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
prophecy says that the Council of Leaders can lift Agram's spell from any Shadow Magi, but only with help from the final dreamer. Consider this your final test. Don't be shy now. Agram's spell has been lifted. The prophecy was true. The three of you, together, are the final dreamer. To think, we almost activated the gear and lost half the Moonlands. You were right to make us wait, Evu. Rash decisions can be costly. Oh, so many emotions. Which do I express first? Gratitude, relief, <sighs> <laughs> happiness. Welcome back, Orwin. 